And that right there is why I love Porsches. In this video, we're gonna customize a 911 Sport Classic and then take it for a drive with the wheel. Let's jump into it. My name is Nikolai, and this is Joyshift. I like to film and build cool cars in Forza Horizon 5. If you're new here, consider subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can always be the first one to watch new videos. We're gonna learn a whole lot about cars, we're gonna customize them, we're gonna drive them, and just have a lot of fun with them. Let's go ahead and jump into this video. So the 911 Sport Classic was just recently added into the game, and it's available through Car Pass, so you do actually have to buy the Car Pass with real money in order to drive this car in the game. But let's take a look at this thing. I think this thing is so beautiful. It's a classic take on a newer 911. Now this is a 2010 model, but it does look super, you know, timeless and it does re resemble a lot of the older 911. So let's go and check out the interior here. So this is my favorite part. Look at the color here. It's like this nice chocolate brown tan interior and best part, it's a manual. So I just love how literally like almost everything in here is the same like tan color. It's kind of an interesting look and just Horizon 5 is so detailed. So this looks really good in here. Now let's go ahead and actually customize this car. So the first thing, let's actually go ahead and head over into conversions and see what we can do. So we can have the stock motor in here or we can toss a 3.8 liter flat six twin turbo in here which I think that's a little bit overkill. I want to leave the stock motor in here. I think it sounds good anyways. And then we can also swap it from stock, you know, rear-wheel drive drive chain to an all-wheel drive drive train. And then we can also go from naturally aspirated to a twin turbo setup, but I don't want to boost this car. I think it's going to feel really good if we leave it naturally aspirated. So let's actually go ahead and head over into our engine. So let's go ahead and do our intake. And I basically want to do a full bolt-on naturally aspirated build on the car. And we are going to actually listen to how these exhaust sounds. So let's actually hear the stock exhaust that sounds interesting but let's hear our sport exhaust and now our race exhaust I think I like the sport exhaust the most that's definitely the one I think sounds I don't know it just sounds the most refined out of all of them um, you don't always have to put the race exhaust on there so now let's go ahead and toss our other parts on here to just build the motor essentially um, and then we can also do a lightweight flywheel and I think that's gonna be pretty set you know like pretty good setup for the car um, and there's our power and torque level so pretty respectable should be pretty fun and naturally aspirated feeling car I think it's gonna be very linear so as far as suspension uh, we could do like a drift build on this but I don't really want to do that I want to just keep it fairly simple and do race springs and dampers and then we can also do our anti-roll bars front and rear and then weight reduction I definitely do want to do that and then for chassis reinforcement we're going to go for the sport one because it actually doesn't add the roll cage that you can physically see um that's how it looks with the roll cage it does look cool from the back but i wish it was just like a half cage and not like a full cage up in the front i don't think that looks too good so we're just going to go for the sport reinforcement there um, and then as far as drivetrain with this being a manual let's actually go ahead and upgrade our clutch and then as far as transmission let's go ahead um let's toss a race transmission in there i don't want to adjust how many speeds it actually has just because it's a manual um, and then for better grip let's go ahead and go for a race diff now for wheels and tires we are doing a grip build so we're going to toss the slick race tire compound on there and then go the widest we possibly can so 255 up in the front and then what can we do for the rear oh my god 325 that's that that's a lot for this car uh, i think that's gonna be really interesting and then i have a very specific wheel in mind that i want to put on the car it's from rotiform i think it's gonna look really timeless on this thing because check that out that looks classic on the car and it still looks good. I mean, it looks modern and classic at the same time. I really do like the way that looks on the car. And then now let's adjust our fitment to get some nice track width on here. So let's go ahead. Let's go for, let's go for the one. I don't like how it pokes slightly there up in the front. So let's go for the second one there. And then for the rear, we'll probably end up having to go for the widest one we possibly can. Yeah, that matches the front right there very well. So I think this looks very good. Now let's see, can we do any arrow to this car? And looks like we can't. Um, I do like the way that tow hook looks. I think it looks pretty interesting, although the tow hook cap is still in there. So it kind of doesn't make sense, but you know what? It's Forza logic, I guess. And then our wing, we can, oh, okay, that's actually not what I was expecting. I was thinking we'd get like a Forza wing on here, but that's an interesting look right there. Um, I don't think I want to put it on there. I like the design of it without it. I think Porsche knows what they're doing and this thing just looks really good. So now let's go ahead and head over into our paint setup so we can do all of that to the car and just see what we can make this thing look like because I do want to leave the same color on there. Um, I feel like it's pretty timeless and I don't want to ruin that. So I do want to definitely do something to the wheels though because I don't like that gold on there. I'm going to do just paint group one, which is going to be the face here. So I want to go ahead and toss one of these metals onto it. So I, I don't want like the bronze that was on there. Um, I think 
this right here is the setup I'm going for just a nice gray I think that looks really good on the car and let's see just you know just out of curiosity what would this thing look like in a different color see if we made it black it just looks like a regular 911 and it's like not as cool anymore um, although even just like a pure white looks super cool on here but I do like the original color um, but one more last color I want to just take a look at and just see how it looks is how is the red okay wow that's a very bright red that looks interesting, but just for the sake of keeping it, you know, classic and true to its form, I'm going to leave it the same color because I don't know, I just think it looks really good on there and it, it just tends to work. Although I did notice, I think when we did the wheels, it got rid of some of the decals on the car, but that's fine. Um, so we'll just leave it like that. But I do think this is a really nice setup. You know, we've got the gray car with the yellow brakes and even look, the yellow brakes match the yellow center caps on the rotor form wheels. That's like the little attention to detail that I really like in this game. Um, but let's go ahead and take this car for a drive and see how it feels. And that right there is why I love Porsches. This thing is so controllable and it sounds so incredible. I'm very keen to see how the 911 Sport Classic feels when we take it for a race here. So let's go on the sprint race and see how the car feels with the wheel. So what I like about the Sport Classic is it's the classic take on a new car. And this car, a few fun facts about it is it's very rare. It was only made for one production year and when they actually sold the car, they sold all of the units in less than 48 hours, which is really cool. And it just goes to show how much of a community there is behind the 911 and it just, especially Porsche as a whole, it's super cool. Now with this generation being the 997, I believe like in my opinion, this is what made water-cooled engines just really unique and so powerful I guess you could say because they have a lot of cooling capability and the best thing I like about this car and just Porsches in general especially the 911 is these cars can do everything now I mean I was gonna say they can't go off-road but now that I think about it there's a lot of rally 911s out there I actually have a rally 911 video on my other channel where I do everything real car related so I'll link it down in the description and also tag it above here you don't see a car like this too often so this is a 1981 Porsche 911 Safari car it's really interesting so let's just go ahead and show you guys the car I just love 911s because they can literally do it all. I mean, it's credible handling car. It can go off road if you build it for that. But most importantly, I think it's just the craftsmanship behind Porsches, how reliable they are, how well built they are. I mean, they really put a lot of time and effort into really manufacturing these cars and making them unique custom and just really exquisite i guess you could say just really like these really nice cars but even just in forza here i'm liking the way this car feels now i will say i think i like the way the gt3 feels in this game a little bit more than the sport classic i think this car would be really good if i was just trying to go out and just have like a nice cruise with the car but for a race like this i think the gt3 and the gt3 rs is definitely a little bit more fun for this but this car is still unique in its own way this is more of like a tourer car right this is something that can do it all but it's also a really good comfortable car like if it wasn't so rare i could see myself totally daily driving one of these 911s i think it's beautiful and i mean it just it, it handles incredible i mean even feeling it with the wheel here i'm playing on a g920 and if you want to see my wheel settings i will have them linked also in the description so check out that video because these wheel settings feel so incredible it feels so realistic i'm really liking this but man this 911 like i'm just trying to beat the c8 right here it feels really planted here just racing it against these other cars now let's see we're almost to the finish are we going to be able to actually win this race let's hope so i think the porsche is going to help us here look at this it just it's so precise i'm noticing like even just carving it through these corners i feel like my controls like if I wobble it back and forth the car still feels very planted and it just it feel like I really have control over the car and now that seems obvious like obviously you have control over the car but I'm noticing with Porsches it's very particular like you have so much control like the level of refinement you feel in the steering and the throttle and the brake and the clutch and everything like that you just feel it okay so now we're really close to the edge that Huracan is pulling up I think we're gonna win yeah, just right there. I mean, we're going to finish it. Like, look at this. We're going to get first place in the 911 Sport Classic and finish it pretty strong. That was a fun race. Um, I definitely enjoyed it. But if you guys enjoyed this video and the 911 Sport Classic, please do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We're going to have a whole lot more on the channel just like this one. We'll see you in the next one.